everyone i am anudit kumar welcome to key concepts in today's videos we are going to discuss about differentiation between vldc and pmsm motor so before starting the lecture we may recall what are the things we studied in the last lecture last lecture about course overview and individually discuss nine lectures and we discuss what are the things we are going to cover in each individual lectures so if you didn't watch this video please find a link below the description and you may go to the playlist and you can find this video so before starting the differentiation between vldc and pmsm motor first we try to understand where actually these two motors belongs like uh, which family these two motors actually belongs so we know that the electrical machines are classified in two categories based on their input supply okay so if input supply is alternating current then motor are so called ac motors and if the input supply is direct current then it's so called dc motors okay further ac motors are categorized in two parts first is asynchronous or a induction motor and another is synchronous motor okay and if you talk about the dc motor it has some further classification the major intention why we are discussing this graph to understand where our motor actually belongs we are discussing about bldc okay and this is basically our pmsm so to provide you where these two motors actually belong so these two motors are actually belongs to synchronous motor and it's a ac motor it's not by seeing this term you didn't justify that it's a dc motor no it belongs to ac motor family and in ac motor family itself it's belong to the synchronous family now you get the clear idea of which family these two motors actually belong so before moving ahead for the further details with respect to the construction with respect to different aspect of differentiation between these two motors firstly we try to understand what are the possible conventions followed by the motor manufacturers and industrial or uh, design experts they categorize these two motors by two aspects first is based on the nature of back emf when we talk about the nature of back emf these are categorized in two category like first is trapezoidal back emf and another is sinusoidal back emf the trapezoidal back emf is related to the vldc motor those motors having trapezoidal back emf are so called vldc motors and the motor which are having sinusoidal back emf are so called permanent magnet synchronous motor so i gave this sinusoidal graph so that may provide you to understand which type of waveform it is so this is sinusoidal okay this is trapezoidal so if you are beginner if you don't know more about the motors so you may get confused like what is about what's the back emf actually and where these two graphs are formed so if you understand that's good if you don't understand please follow my lectures and just keep these two points in your mind that when we talk about the vldc motor it's all about trapezoidal back emf okay and when we talk about the pmsm motor it's related to sinusoidal back emf what is back emf i will going to discuss further okay so just for now just keep these two points in your mind made by motor manufacturers and experts are based on excitation of the number of phases when motor is energized or excited by two phase at a time then it's so called bldc motor or a doubly excited motor okay and if the motor are excited by three phase it it's called permanent magnet synchronous motor and that is called three phase excitation 
okay so this is the this is also a very important understanding or a differentiation conventions that are followed by manufacturers okay so please keep it in your mind 